Hello everyone. Thank you for registering for an Owl Prowl program with the Saratoga Springs Public Library and Wilton Wildlife Preserve and Park. Our mission at Wilton Wildlife is to conserve ecological systems and natural settings while providing opportunities for environmental education and outdoor recreation. Despite all of this year's obstacles, we are proud to be continuing our work toward our mission and providing educational opportunities like this one. Soon you'll be visiting us at Wilton Wildlife to look and listen for live owls in the Saratoga Sand Plains ecosystem. Before you hit the trails though, we hope you'll take the time to watch this short presentation on owls we might find and their amazing adaptations. Let's get to know the eight species of owls that call New York home. However, let me add a little bit of spice. Let's start off with New York's largest species, the snowy owl. This big guy is anywhere between 20 and 27 inches tall, are bright white, and are diurnal animals, meaning they're active both day and night. Coming in hot as New York's second largest owl is the great horned owl at 18 to 25 inches tall. These owls prey on a large variety of creatures, including raccoons, rabbits, frogs, squirrels, and even skunks. Yuck! That is an acquired taste, my friend. Third on our list of New York species is the barred owl, named so because of its striped feathers. They stand at 16 to 20 inches tall and have a recognizable call that sounds like they're saying, who cooks for you? The short-eared owl can be anywhere between 13 to 17 inches tall. This bird's populations have been in steep decline as it requires open grasslands, a habitat that is disappearing due to agriculture and development. This is the only New York species to nest on the ground. Next is the long-eared owl at 12 to 16 inches tall. They always seem to have a surprised expression with their ear tufts pointing straight up. Their loud hoot of a male can be heard up to three quarters of a mile away. Close in size to the long-eared owl, the barn owl is 13 to 16 inches tall. Their ability to locate prey by sound is better than any other owl, and they have a distinct call that sounds like a high-pitched scream. For this reason, many people have given them the nickname Ghost Owl or Death Owl. Second to last, we have the Eastern Screech Owl at a tiny 6 to 10 inches. The call from these little guys isn't actually a screech, but something similar to a whinny. They also have two color morphs, gray, the more common morph, and red. And finally, we have the Northern Sawa Owl at 7 to 8 inches small. These cuties are highly nocturnal and seldom seen. You may recall on the news from the Christmas of 2020, they found a small owl in the Rockefeller tree that gained a lot of media coverage. This little guy, rehabbed and named Rocky, was a saw-wet owl. Out of the eight species of owls found in New York, only four are common at Wilton Wildlife Preserve and Park. Can you guess what they are? At Wilton Wildlife, you'll most commonly find the Great Horned Owl, the Barred Owl, the Eastern Screech Owl, and the Northern Sawa Owl. So why are we looking for them now? Isn't it a little chilly to be on the trails at night? The reason why we have our owl prowls on evenings in February and in March is because this is the season that these owls are actively searching for territory, mates, and nesting sites and therefore are the most vocal. Owls are interesting creatures. They are what we call well-adapted. What is an adaptation? An adaptation is a change in shape, behavior, or function that allows a plant or an animal to survive better in its environment. Owls have countless adaptations that make them great predators, but today we'll only go over a few. You may have seen owls portrayed in your favorite cartoons as having the ability to rotate their head all the way around, or 360 degrees. However, that is simply not true. Owls can turn their heads 270 degrees in either direction. But how? Take a moment to feel the bones in the back of your neck. 
These little bones are called vertebrae and connect to make up your spine. In a human neck, there are seven vertebrae. In an owl's neck, however, there are 14, twice the amount of humans. These extra vertebrae give owls more neck mobility, which is very important. You see, owls cannot move their eyes. They're fixed inside their skull. Without moving your head, look left and right, up and down. Owls cannot do this because their eyes are fixed. This means they have to turn their head to see in any direction. This is because these animals have tube-shaped eyes. However, these eyes do have some advantages. Owls have great night vision because these tube-shaped eyes are made out of retinal rods, cells in the shape of rectangles. These retinal rods function best in dim lighting. By having better night vision, owls are able to hunt using darkness to sneak up on their prey. In perfecting their vision for the hunt, owls have an additional sight adaptation, a third eyelid. Humans have an upper and lower eyelid, but owls have a third, the nictitating membrane, that closes from the side. This eyelid is clear, allowing the animal to see through it. Why is this important? This nictitating membrane protects their eye while focusing on the hunt. If you stick your head outside the car window while it's in drive, you'll feel your eyes get dry and agitated by the wind. For an owl in flight, wind would agitate their eyes too, if not for their amazing adaptation. When hunting a small animal, blinking could cause them to lose sight of their prey. The nictitating membrane acts like a pair of goggles, protecting their eyes from the element while still allowing them to see through. Even better than their sight is their hearing. Many owls have a facial disc, a flat, circular layer of feathers that adjusts to the direction that sound is coming from. By shifting their feathers, they can funnel sound to their ears more directly and hear where their prey is located. Owls also have slightly offset ears, one facing upward and one facing downward. These asymmetrical ears allow them to better locate their prey as the sound reaches their ears at slightly different times. This gives them a more accurate measure of where their food can be found. Owls also have the ability to hunt silently. For a moment, raise your hand next to your ear and flap it like a wing. Do you hear noise? This is called air turbulence and can give away a predator's location to their prey. Owls have solved this with little hairs on their feathers, which allow them to fly absolutely silent. This is a great adaptation for the element of surprise. We've discussed all the ways how an owl hunts, but what do they eat? Well, that depends on the species, but most will eat small rodents like mice or chipmunks, birds, snakes, frogs, and even insects. Now when an owl eats, do you think he chews? Nope, he swallows it whole. This doesn't mean that owls consume every part, however. They will regurgitate or vomit a small pellet which holds everything they can't digest, such as insect exoskeletons, hair, or bones. With so many things an owl eats, does anything eat an owl? Predators of owls include larger animals like hawks, cats, and even larger owls. But the biggest predator of them all is humans. More specifically, their cars. Owls often fly over highways and get hit by cars. Sometimes when we're on a road trip, we may throw our food scraps out the window. Mm -hmm. What's the harm in tossing out a biodegradable apple core or a banana peel? The harm is these food scraps attract animals. Not only does it attract foraging animals like mice, it attracts the predators that eat them. Wildlife rehabbers may take in these injured owls but many cannot be released back into the wild, and some will not survive. Please keep trash inside your car, especially during this very active season for owls. Now that we've learned all about owls, it's time to visit Wilton Wildlife Preserve and Park and listen for their calls. Can you remember the four common species that we may find? At Wilton Wildlife, you'll most commonly find the great horned owl, the barred owl, 
the eastern screech owl, and the northern sawwet owl. We're just as excited as you are to hear these fascinating creatures in the wild and look forward to seeing you soon. Before you hit the trails, please remember to dress warmly and come with quiet voices and open ears. Finally, let's go prowl for those owls.